for those who are not familiar, we're doing this power hour style. So we're gonna put a little. We're doing ninety seconds on the clock. We're not doing full two minutes. These guys suck. So they're yes. washed. They don't get they're the full washed. two minutes. So they, you know they can't even two minutes is too long. So we're doing ninety seconds on the clock here. But we have ranked our most washed wide receivers. That is how this goes. Uh, there are a bunch of guys in the league that you might uh, not know are in the league or definitely don't know which team they're on. So we're here to provide you with that information. <laughs> And we're doing so, you know, every 90 seconds, you're going to hear this song. We're back. A little, a little, Woo. never a little left. Springtime Tom Tom. <laughs> didn't this, didn't, when you played this song at your wedding, we lost it. Well, it was, it was, it was Lotto's song, Big Energy, but the same sample. Inc yeah. I mean, just incredible. <laughs> Shout out Tom Tom. All right. So without further ado, let's do it. All right. Start the clock, Kai. Odell Beckham goes to the Miami Dolphins. $3 million salary, $5 million in incentives. He's got a lot of money. Uh, Odell's 32 years old. Missed all. He tore his ACL in that Rams Super Bowl, and they won, and then missed all 2022. But I kind of thought he looked okay last year. I'm deeply biased because I kind of love Obel Odell from being a giant. But he, he played like a third of the snaps for the Ravens, but then looked really good. But he was like this weird. He was like the Sean Livingston for like the Warriors, Greg, yep. where he comes in with the second man unit. and was like, this guy's like the best guy on the floor. Yeah, Odell is one of those people that I I, I I never imagined they could get old. It's like weird <laughs> that Odell is 32 because he's he was like such a cool, sexy, exciting player. Like his play style, who he is, I'm like, you can't be 32. That's not right. I feel like Odell Beckham is just getting these legacy contracts. I, like, didn't he make like nine or ten million dollars last year to play a third of the snaps? The the Ravens didn't 15. apparently think he was going to be. He made fifteen million dollars. Well, no, they signed Odell because Lamar Jackson was like, "I would like Odell right. and DeAndre Hopkins," and they're like, "Fine." And so, honestly, just added on to Lamar's contract. Odell just has tenure. He can't be fired at this point. He, he has tenure <laughs> in the NFL. He's, He's just going to remain in the NFL forever. But Miami's uh, fun, though, because you got Tyree Kill and Waddle, and then he actually kind of makes sense with the team. Like, he just is like this other uh, pretty hard guy to defend one-on-one. -on -one. Like, frankly. Do you think, is Odell like a veteran presence now? Is that what he brings? Like, does he step in and kind of professionalize <laughs> the locker you, room? What do I think do he teaches here? them to be famous, if not better as a receiver. Oh, he teaches good. them how to handle interviews and stuff. Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest. I just hope he doesn't play. I, I really <laughs> <laughs> he, ru he ruined my Malik Washington dreams. Uh, like three or four days after the draft, they signed Odell Beckham. I'm like, God damn it. I just yeah. want Malik Washington to be the number three there because he's so much more exciting and fun. And I'm kind of just, if I'm being totally honest, I'm over the Odell Beckham thing. Hythus, I know that you have like a loyalty to him. Um, I just don't care. I I'm done. I'm, I'm done with it. He's friends with Drake too, so he's probably done. <laughs> Greg, next up. Um, Chase Claypool is on the Buffalo Bills. I, I love how this makes that. the list. Yeah. That's so uh, weird. He he is 25 years old and he is somehow washed. He is wearing <laughs> Stefan Diggs' number 14, which is a nice little fuck you to Stefan Diggs. What is that process like where they, he asks and they're just like a long pause and they're like, yeah, Or did they suggest? They were like, hey, it'd be pretty funny if you wore Who's Diggs the most annoying person we can give this Do you think to? they signed Claypool because Keon Coleman is the most likable receiver I've ever seen? Eight? And they're <laughs> like, 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 do we you think we have to get the least likable person left? Dude, Chase Claypool is all bark, no bite. He's the perfect wide receiver diva. He had one good season, buoyed by touchdown luck. <laughs> then he thought he was a superstar. Now he's 25 years old and on his fourth team. And yet... I still kind of think he's good. <laughs> you don't. It's, like, it's like the perfect Come on. four quadrants of a diva wide receiver is Chase Claypool. <laughs> he's not going to no. play. He, he will not be. <laughs> play. He won't be playing. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to do this at the end of every every guy. I don't think Claypool is going to make this roster. That's why he's washed. That's why he's number two on the washed ranking. <laughs> I, you really don't think he'll make the roster? Dude, there's no receivers on this team. They got receivers. They got some guys. They have Khalil Shaker, Curtis Samuel, Shaker. Mac Collins. Shakir. Shakir, I like Shaker, sorry. Um, Mac Collins. It's going to come down to Mac Collins versus Chase Claypool. This is the battle <laughs> of training camp right I here. think he's going to make the team. Okay. Oh, they, have put, KJ, put, they have KJ Hamler. Let's put $14 on it, Craig. They have Andy Isabella, Quintez Cephas. Dude, this is like the waiver wire. This is like the Patriots. Wow. All right, next up here. Dude, I... I <laughs> Totally forgot this guy existed. Michael Thomas is a free agent. Yeah, yeah. He's still he's still around. I think the, he, I think the NFL forgot he existed. Dude, he's only 31. I'm actually shocked he's not older. Like, he's younger than Odell Beckham. Michael Thomas. <laughs> Isn't I, it weird? I, he caught, like, 149 catches, and he has, like, 60 since. That was four years ago. Dude, he has... Michael Thomas had more receiving yards in his rookie season than he's had since 2019. 
Wow. Whoa. That was five years ago. It's 2024 That's... right now. I, it's getting sad with Michael Thomas. It's like when they roll out like an old actor to introduce an award at the Oscars I, and you're just like, ah, I why are they doing point, Craig, do the Pacino. <laughs> do the Pacino. <laughs> uh, my eyes see Oppenheimer. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Dude, DK. See Oppenheimer. I don't know if you. I'm like my eyes see Michael Thomas. <laughs> What's going on? I think I don't the know. best way. <laughs> oh my god! The best Did way you, to explain Michael Thomas is his in career was entirely pre-pandemic. <laughs> like yes. wow. literally, he's done nothing since the pandemic happened. Do you guys remember DK? Hi, it's whoever watched the Oscars like ten years ago. Do you guys remember they used to wheel out Kirk Douglas, Michael Douglas's father? And he was like actually a hundred years old. Wheel him out. And they, he was in a wheelchair. They'd wheel him out. He didn't know what was going on. And I was like, who is this for? Why are they Stop. doing this? Stop doing this. <laughs> That's how I feel right now that Michael Tom is still trying. I'm like, who is this for? <laughs> uh, Craig, this country uh, has an obsession with old people. So. That's certainly true. Do we? That's another question. Yes, we do. That's the Don't problem. we treat our old people worse than like every other developed country in the world? Well, we give them CEO titles and let them run the country. <laughs> and then let name them president. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well there's that whole thing. And also, there's no new actors, apparently. We, <laughs> we, this is a huge tangent, but I was talking to Craig the other day. I, I, wa I went to rewatch The Irishman. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, Robert De Niro trying to play like a 30 year old is so ridiculously stupid. Who thought this was going to work? So I, he looks 70 the entire movie. I don't, there's no find strong some enough new CGI. friends, Marty. You, find, find anyone you texted me under that. I was the like, age of 70 to Gorsese do this. Role. is the Bill Belichick of filmmaking because he's like the best. He's incredible, <laughs> but also he hasn't no met one, anyone in like 40 years. He's like an un, <laughs> unwilling to work with any new people. Just only working with Joe Judge and Matt Patricia wherever he goes. He's like, no, no, no. I need De Niro in this. Even though De Niro, he's God, older than the De Niro, the way he moves in the movie is just so annoying to me. It's like See, that's, that's the problem is they de-age his face digitally, but you right. can't really change the body. Even if the body looks younger, it's the like way hunched he moves. Over, he's so like, there's a scene yeah. where he, he beats somebody up on, the, on a sidewalk and you're <laughs> like I, I know this man on screen technically is like 35 but that is a 72 year old man <laughs> punching, you can tell. literally uh, what is more being old than literally like agreeing to have cgi in your movie rather than meeting new people i know um it's really tough there need, we need a word for when a movie comes out and you want it to be good so bad that you kind of convince yourself it is and then three oh, call years the later Oppenheimer. <laughs> sure. The Robert Downey Jr. award. And then three for, years like, later, I, I pretended to like subcommittee here. You're the only one who had that thought. Just for I think record. what's weird about no, it. There's uh, dozens this is of the whole them. tangent. What's just weird about tests. it to me is I feel like the most basic Christopher Nolan fan in every other way. I feel like I have no unique opinions. I'm a 29 year old man who loves The Dark Knight and likes all the Christopher Nolan stuff, and I feel very basic. It's. And then I just had a completely different view on this movie than everyone else. And I was like, when did I get out of line? This is how are you? I don't know. I feel very weird. I'm no just like first. in the moment I was like, uh, the Irishman. No, it, it works. The digital, the de-aging works. And now it's been like five years and I'm like, it didn't work. God, no, it does it's not weird. work at all. Anyway, just make them older. I, I didn't know they sent 70 year old men to World War II to like fight in the trenches. Like, come oh. on, get a new actor. Leo DiCaprio was right there. We're like <laughs> Leo. butting up against one of the hottest takes I have, but I, I might have to save it for a future take purge. Oh, I'll save it. All right. Anyway. Anyway, DJ Chark signed with the Chargers. Yes, DJ Chark is still <laughs> in the NFL. In fact, doing some really, really in-depth research last night on DJ Chark. Did you guys know that he led the, the uh, Panthers in touchdowns last year? The Panthers receiving Get car the fuck out of here. was fucking sad last year. Uh, DJ Chark. He played 75% of the team's snaps last year. He caught 35 passes on 66 targets. That's a 53% catch rate. So he was, I mean, not efficient whatsoever. Two catches a game. However, he did, like I said, lead the team in touchdown catches. Five. I want to say Thielen maybe had four. Um, anyways, it was not a good situation. So I guess there is the hope or prayer that maybe he can come alive. Gigi Chart could come alive with uh, Justin Herbert. But I also think this is a team is going to throw like probably at the lowest rate of any team in the NFL. They're going to run the hell out of the ball. They just drafted Lab McConkey. Our boy Josh Palmer is still there. That's right. I mean, they're going to try and make Quentin Johnston a thing probably. And also, Shark just might be bad. Like he, uh, yeah. he was uh, out of eighty four receivers last year with fifty plus targets. He was seventy fifth in receiving grade according to PFF. Guess who was eighty third? 
Uh, Jonathan Mingo, their second round pick. Um, oh, the situation wasn't great for this. Actually, this sort of makes me in a roundabout way more excited about what Bryce Young can do when he has some real receivers. I don't know if that's happened yet, but the, the receiver core for, for the Panthers last year was atrocious. Yeah, DJ Chark is a, is a rare washed 27 year old who's like <laughs> still playing and actually like getting minutes. Good for him. <laughs> Next up here, we have Michael Gallup signed with the Gallup. Raiders. Didn't know this happened. I'm going to be honest. Gallup is entering the Michael Thomas zone of guys who haven't done anything since the pandemic. Um, <laughs> just wheeling him out to announce some awards. <laughs> just call it the before times all stars. <laughs> yeah, Michael Gallup. Yeah, he was definitely on your fantasy roster in the before times. Uh, <laughs> he had a couple of good seasons, 2019, 2020. He's only 28 years old. God. Anyways. <laughs> so weird. Craig and I just having like crisis over all these guys being awful that are our age. <laughs> he had, so he had a 51% snap rate for a Dallas team last year that actually needed more depth and more guys to step up. But Michael Gallup's snap rate as the year went on plummeted to like, it, it was like in the thirties by the end of the season, he was just barely playing. Um, he ranked 64th on that list of 84 players with 50 plus targets last year and receiving grade. So he was not good. Two catches a game on 3.4 targets. I mean, there's not much to say here. He's going to be buried, I feel like, on the Raiders team. And I would not be surprised if he does not make the team. So uh, it's over with, with Michael Gallup, I would say. It's Jover. It's so Jover. Um, <laughs> the, Ra the Raiders points. are also, much like the Bills, they're kind of just assembling these like has-been, also-ran wide receivers. It's like they have Devontae Adams. And then after that, it's Jacoby Myers, Michael Gallup, and Jalen Guyton. Oh, yeah, they signed Jalen Guyton the other day. <laughs> this should have been maybe on this list. I think Jalen Guyton might be better than Michael Gallup. I think that knee injury really screwed up Michael Gallup. And I oh, think he, for sure. Yeah. Like, more so than most injuries, like th that really ruined his career. He never bounced back. So other guys that we were going to put on this list, but frankly, we're just going to do a little honorable, dishonorable mention for all these other wash receivers. Tyler Boyd is still free agent. I Hold on. Still okay. Oh, no. Hold on. Breaking news, literally, as this happened, Tyler Boyd, has no signed shit. a one-year deal. Can you guys guess which team? Um, there. I'm going to go is with... Oh, this is... I, hold on here. I want to get this. <laughs> I think you get one guess. Oh, yeah, wait, I'm going to get this right. One opportunity. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say... Jets. Wait, no, let me guess. I'm going to go with Vikings. The Titans. One year oh, wow. deal nice. worth a max of four point five million. So it's Traylon hard. Burks is not long for this world. <laughs> Traylon Burks almost certainly going to get moved. Uh, yeah. They drafted a slot receiver, Jaquan Jackson, in the sixth round, I believe. They just signed Tyler Boyd. Uh, obviously, they signed Calvin Ridley. They also have DeAndre Hopkins, Chig Okonkwo. Where Dude, do you want I, I would Traylon Burks? Get him out of there. I would love Traylon to go to to Pittsburgh. Uh, he he's a Ooh. real like like new city fresh start guy like i feel like he could step yeah. into a new team and actually be are there any every time wild he, he hogs plays. for him to stab yeah. to death in pittsburgh what Traylon burks is the guy who goes hunting for pigs with knives oh <laughs> remember that craig, craig. that what? was like that was like <laughs> his top draft profile like trait was that he hunted just hogs, hunted hunts pigs hogs with, with his knife it's like uh, the Joker. He's like, yeah, we can savor all the emotions. Like, Jesus. Trevor Burks really does speak softly and carry a knife. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I would love that. I would love to see him go somewhere else. He, he's had the worst imaginable start to a career of like any highly ranked receiver I can remember. He basically showed up for training camp. He was too out of shape to finish any practice. I remember they there were was, like, it's asthma. They're like, no, no, no. It's he has asthma, but that's not why he's out of shape. But this is there was a point again. Yeah, there was a point in time during that training camp where I was like, Traylon Burks, finish one practice challenge. Come on, guy. <laughs> finish one practice where we don't have to hear about you going into the locker room after running around and warming up. Anyways. Uh, then and Mike Vrabel up. clearly hated him because they chose this guy. Wrong kid, Dad. <laughs> um, Tyler Boyd to Tennessee is a real tough beat for Nick Westbrook Akine. We need Who's a word. Just been for, in the NFL, not playing for five. Years. <laughs> we need a word for guys who are referenced only in the context of to prove how bad the receivers are for the quarterback. Like Nick Westbrook Akine only gets brought up when it's like, well, the Titans don't have anyone. They just got Nick Westbrook Akine, and it's like we need a whole list. Just of catching people. strays. Yeah, it's just like 
Like Jonathan Mingo will just be like Bryce Young. Well, he's not even work with. He's just got like Jonathan Mingo. You know what I mean? Like there's a whole <laughs> class of guys that are just proof that uh, they suck. Yeah. Anyway, so other wash receivers. Just a little check in. Juju Smith Schuster still on the Patriots. Not yep. dead. Also way too young. Uh, Robert Woods still on the Texans, which is hilarious. That poor Jarvis dude, Landry. Our boy Bobby Trees. They're doing Bobby him dirty. Trees. He's a really. coach now. It's fine. Yeah. We gotta get him a funeral. Jarvis Landry, who sat out last year, which I don't know if he sat out or just was not offered a job. And was then, he, did he set out? Did he sit out the year before that too? I feel like he's I, been. It's been a while. It's, it's been, been a out. He's also he's kind been. of a before times guy. She went to rookie mini camp this weekend, which is so sad for a thirty-one year old player <laughs> to go to rookie. Like that he's, is bad. It's Dude. like when like you, like someone's dad shows up at the high school party and you're like ah. yeah. 21, 21 Jump Street. This this is <laughs> Billy Madison showing up for the third grade again. Billy passed the third grade. <laughs> oh what a glorious uh, day! And also Martavis yeah. Bryant still in the Cowboys, which I cannot get over. So if, if one of those guys I told what you mean, not still on the board. Cowboys, he just didn't they just sign him like not no, that long ago? Last no, year, he was, he was there last year on the practice football. squad, which is oh like, practice just, squad. Just so, dude, <laughs> how is Mart Martavis Bryant's thirty two? Martavis Bryant is older than Odell Beckham. He's older than Michael Thomas and older than Jarvis Landry. How is that possible? <laughs> he hasn't caught passes in five years. If I told you one of those guys was actually a good fantasy asset this year, who is it? Martavis Bryant, Juju Smith Schuster, Michael Gallup, Robert Woods, Jarvis Landry. Oh, heavens goodness. Wait, um, do we not include Tyler Boyd? No, he's Tyler Boyd's not on that, that bad. Tyler Boyd's yeah, been on the NFL team. We can't compare him to Jarvis Landry. Um, I'll take Juju. Yeah. Just I'll take, take the a youngest guy. Who's guy. not 30. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. So. All right. So there's our wash receiver. Nice uh, power ranking. Thank you to Tom. Tom, for, for getting back in our lives. That was bit. fun. All I, the hope wash, we, I hope all we the spawned, wash receivers. I hope we spawned a lot of people texting their friends like, did you know Michael Gallup was on the Raiders? Yeah. It's just bizarre. So, yeah, emails for your fantasy football at gmail.com if you have more thoughts on Wash this. Also, we have our fantasy football rankings at fantasyfootball.thereno.com. So, check out our rankings if you want to yell at us about anything. <laughs>